Welcome to John G TV. Oh, hey. So basically, this is uh, the setup that I was using for the um, perfect patch. Uh, the the crystal is what I call it. This is the blue um, EMX um, electrode. Basically, these uh, the the blue and the red electrodes, in my opinion, is like the best. Uh, Electribes uh, uh, that Korg made. 
the new one is just totally different. I wish they would have came back with the, you know, this metal um, box with the tubes and just updated it with the, the proper SD, I mean, the current SD card, because this one got the old, when the SD card kind of first came into, <clears throat> first came out or whatever, it's got like a, a, a older style that's a little hard to find or whatever. And now that everything has come industry standard with SD cards for the most part, except for some people using that compact flash or whatever. Um, so I, I kind of wish uh, they would have really made this box again, Korg, if y'all can. I mean, this would be, I, I believe, well, for me, the red one is my NPC. When, when everybody was, you know, doing an NPC thing, my introduction, that was my first piece of gear. And, um, um, basically, uh, I wish they would have just, you know, redid that box and kind of updated it with some, with some of those features that they have on the new box. So if they can somehow combine those two and come back with this metal case, I mean, this thing, man. So I, I just got the blue one not too long ago. Um, I've been, you know, lusting over this, this blue one for years and finally got my hands on one. And this thing is ridiculous. Now, the, the thing about it that I'm, I'm, I'm noticing, I'm kind of getting spoiled on, and and the fact that uh, you know when people say that you know if there's a difference between analog and, and digital, and there is, um, you know, sonically, uh, it's um, it's just not as round, I guess, or you know, thin or whatever. But the modulation on this uh, thing is awesome i mean it's ridiculous however you know you can you could definitely make some dope beats and all and all of that good stuff um it's just i don't know you know um I'm, i guess i'm a little spoiled now after uh, hearing certain pieces of gear and how they sonically sound um so when i got it at first i was like yeah but then i started diving into it and started because now that my synthesis is my knowledge is more than what it used to be I'm looking at this thing and using it in ways that I would have never have in the, in, in, in the past. And the modulation, again, is awesome. You got five synth parts, and you got, what, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine drum parts. And the five synth part, each part got two oscillators with uh, this, I don't know, what, about 15, 20 different oscillator um, synth uh, types. And you got your filter, your modulation, your part common, your effects. <clears throat> yeah, man, you can do some real ill stuff with this uh, with this box. The things that you can make. So this is to me, the core. This is y'all best box. I mean, this thing is awesome. The new one is tight. I like the things about the new with the pads. You know, I do like that. But sonically, it does. It just doesn't hit. Those boxes don't hit the way these boxes do. This box hit. I mean, you got to cut it. You can't even cut it all the way up because it just, it knocks. But the, the, the new boxes are soft and I believe they did it because of the whole digital RAM and how you wanna record and leave room for mixing and mastering. And so I kinda get the philosophy of it, but <clears throat> when you're so used to having something that knocks like this, I mean, wow. This thing can, like if you hook up to some speakers, you don't even need no amp. This thing is ready to go out the box. No amp needed. Them tubes, I mean, you're going you're gonna to kill it. So right now I got the uh, vocal beats going into the audio in, as you can hear if I... So that what you hear is the uh, vocal beats coming through. And you can hear that, like if I cut that off, just look how thin that sounds. So when you layer the analog sound of the beats and kind of have that, this analog modeling on top of it, it actually sounds pretty good. Um, but as you can hear, if I take that out by itself, just, you know, it's, it's just thin. And there's a kick there. I mean, but it's 
not this. So when you layer them kicks, like them buttons jumping. Damn, it looks like, oh, snap. Wow. Okay. So again, if you got some analog modeling, if you got some old gear, well, I got a couple of the, of the even older electron electrodes, and they sound even more thin. But it, but the modulation is crazy. So I got some nice, some dope, just I don't know, some crazy sounding beats on there too. Um, but if you take it through, I haven't done this yet, but I'm gonna run it through the like the analog E, heat it up, send it, send it, send it through some effects or other uh, synth and turn some of these analog modeling machines that maybe sound a little weak by themselves, turn them into a monster by adding the analog feel to it and mixing it up. Get a little dirty and nasty. John G, John G TV, fade to black.